The Crimson Forest. Difficulty, 0 out of 5. They were eaten by some. The Crimson Forest decides abundance and safety to its dwellers. <laughs> Entity count, 0 out of 5. The forest is under the vigilant protection by the lanterns. They obliterate hostile entities on sight. Chaos Gradient, 1 out of 5. Gravity can, be, can at times be confusing in the forest. Yet, the surreal nature is stable and exploitable. Bassett's Fraser Index, 0.3 out of 5. The forest is as close to paradise as one can defy. Many were born and passed on without leaving the forest embrace. <laughs> Grimson Forest is safe, if not chilly. We belong here. Beyond the fields, you made it through the darkness. You reach the forest's edge. The monsters cannot find you here. A sanctuary. A nation. The cradle of humanity. Welcome home. The Crimson Forest is a is by willing length lake blanketed in the chilly fog. It is serene and idle-like under the eve for watching eye of the lanterns, which ward off harmful entities. Most of the soil and floria is tinted shades of crimson and red. Given the level, it's m- it's mon it's monocore. Although there is a higher an average amount of utensils and furric odd sides of the soil here and fields why the plants all sprout and wondrous shades of red is still unknown <laughs> geography and climate the forest is vast beyond the regions of society the woods are largely unexplored and its geography unmapped Within civilized lands, live familiar things. Wide valley, dense wood, large rolling mountains, and shaking steams are common. <laughs> Beyond our current reach, well, anything might be waiting for us. What we know is strange about the force, however, it is the nature of its geographic folding. The tectonic plates of the forest do not lie flat, nor warp around a massive globe like land on Earth. Instead, it crumble and fold into one another like crinkled paper. In some religions, looking into the sky reveals more of the forest above. You. Accessible if you're simply keeping walking forward long enough find where the fault is in their pl- in these places the concept of down is subjective as reaching a high enough altitude will reverse gravity if you have and have you fall upwards into the fold above you the thinnest of these converging plates are mere meters away the properties of gravity and up and down are strange but stable. Settlers have become quite accustomed to the phenomena. The weather within the forest is peaceful and serene. The hanging fog never dissipates, keeping the level nearly at a chilly 8 degrees Celsius at all times. <laughs> The fog produced by the lanterns is considered a holy mist. An extension of the lanterns themselves should be an entity born of malice or evil entered the fog. The lanterns should feel it like a spider web twitching from the touch of a fly. <laughs> Life in the woods. As for sustenance, the force revives. Wild game is plentiful and nutritious flora can be easily captivated. Much of the running water in the forest is portable yet arched 
However, water taken from life should be bottled for peace of mind. It is common practice to allow your water to settle in a large container. Then moving the slit at the bottom to combat the nature, the natural state. The Crimson Forest is home to a rich ecosystem of fauna, ranging from insects to large mammals and everything in between. Many of the creatures resemble animals, reminiscent of baseline, but everything living here was previously known to mankind. Eight eyed deer, rust colored moose, squirrels with prehensile with prehensile tails, colonies of mice which group together in the dozens and even haunting silent owls for wings have been documented among hundreds of other animals. Despite the unique biology, the creatures do not seem unnatural or anomalous. Despite the lack of dangerous entities, beware of the nature's predators which call the chrism forest their home. Hulking creatures resembling bears, slithering wild cats, and packs of six legged canines are known to live here in harmony and within the ecosystem. The lanterns leave them be as they don't seem to mind the presence of humans within the forest. Commonwealth communities. The forest is dotted with dozens of small communities and groupings of cabins. <laughs> But there are three primary towns of note which make up the Crimson Commonwealth. <laughs> they are listed below and represent the large majority of the population of the level. Bleak Shore, named after the bleak white stone of the shores of Lutos Lake, Bleak Shore has captivated a tradition of boating and fishing. The bustling collections of homes steep within the forest indeed, drawing the internal, the interests of would-be explorers and interpreted travelers. A peaceful hamlet, its own business, finds its own business. Rosewood. Rosewood is a large community of cabins grouped along the coils of Big Rock River and is the nearest settlement to the Crimson Fields. As such, stray from baseline are often brought here for sanctuary. They perform seed civilization, solar sam soil sampling, mineral planning and the manufacturing preserving food and natural medicines silk reach nesting comfortably within the base of Witherin Bluff and the Mallet's Peaks silk reach is re-owned of, the, of their mystery and rich resource holds from the soil a dozen generations of terraging have allowed for astonishing yields of farm around the community, which are battled across the crimson wealth. Cabins of the Lost Explorers who ventured deeper in the forest have claimed encounters of humans with crimson tinted skin and pale milky eyes. These strange sightings, not backed by photographic or reliable information have been largely reduced to nothing more than rumors or stories. Sellers of the Commonwealth, however, beneath those who become lost in the woods may become changed of the force. <laughs> they want that wandering souls seek a life among the trees, become clay men. 
empty husks of their former selves who wandered the woods silently. Whether true or not, may consider these nothing more than scary stories to tell children. Frightful ideas to stop the little ones from wandering off alone. Entrances and exits. <laughs> the Crimson Forest is so large that many people grow up, live, and die within the limb space without ever leaving the woods. However, limb space is connected to the forest do exist. Some of these other levels are traveled to in search of resources. Others are visited for soul and for soul searching primology. One trial that every stray from baseline must complete is to pass through the crimson fields. <laughs> One the hanging mist begins to darken. The lights on the lanterns begin to fade. <laughs> You may very well be nearing the edge of the fields where darkness rules, monsters roam, and baseline intersects in mysterious ways. Many paths lead to the fields, many of them met, but there are surely unknown roads that still lead to dangerous places. As well, it is known that these fissures and caves that reach into the ground will open up to the crimson waste if explored deeply enough. These tight passages prevent the lanterns from reaching into the wastes, but it is unknown if the lanterns would wander there, if given the chance anyways. There are no thresholds to base 